my dear students of primary three, uh, today we are going to continue uh, in chapter six uh, in lesson three. Let's see, lesson three is talking about what? It's about classifying shapes, classifying shapes. What's the meaning of classifying shapes? Classifying shapes means that we are going to group or sort the shapes into groups according to their attributes, according to their attributes. What the meaning of that? For example, if I have many shapes, they are all four sides, so I can put them in a group, and I will name the group the shapes that has four sides. If I have many sides, or um, sorry, many shapes, uh, they are different for sides, five sides, six sides, and so on. But they, for example, they have the same color. They are all blue. So I can put them in a group and I will name this group the blue figures or blue shapes and so on. So I will sort the shapes or put the shapes that has uh, the same uh, attributes in one group. Okay. Let's see an example. Here what I have, I have a square and I have a rectangle. How many vertices in the square? I have four vertices in the square. Huh? Where are they? Let's count them together. Where are they? One, two, three, four. Okay, what about the triangle, the rectangle? How many vertices I have? One, two, three, four. So I have in the square four vertices and in the rectangle four vertices. So I can put them in a category and I can name the group or the category is four vertices, four vertices. That's I, how can I classify the shape. Okay, let's see another example. Here I have many shapes. What are the names of these shapes? I have trapezoid, parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, and square. We learned the names of these shapes in the previous lesson. Okay, uh, what the uh, attribute that is common between them? If I want to put them in a group, uh, what will I name this group? Huh. If I count the sides of each one, let's count them together. Huh. One, two, three, four. Let's count them and put the number. One, two, three, four. Okay, the other one. One, two, three, four. Okay, the other one. The rhombus. One, two, three, Four rectangle one, two, three, four, and the square one, two, three, four. They are all have four sides. They are all four sides. So I can put them in a group or in a category, and I will say what the name of this category. Shapes that has four sides and four vertices, okay, I can say that. But instead of this long sentence, I can just say they are quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals. What's the meaning of quadrilaterals? Quadrilaterals means the 2D shapes that has four sides and four vertices. So today we learned a new word. It means uh, the 2D shapes that has four sides and four vertices. And what is this word? It's quadrilateral. You have to memorize this word very well. It's quadrilateral. So quadrilaterals means the 2D shapes that has four sides and four vertices. Okay, let's see another example. Here I have many shapes and I want to put them in categories. The first category is three sides, the shapes that have three sides only, and that for sure is the triangles. Then four sides and four vertices, and they are the quadrilaterals. Then five sides, and then six vertices, 
and then no sides and no vertices. Let's look to our shapes first. Uh, which of these ones are triangles that has three sides? I will color them in red. Huh? This is the first one. Okay, where, where else? Huh? Two, excellent. Huh? Do we have any other? Do we have any other? Yes, this one, huh? three. So I colored three shapes. They are all three sides and they are all triangle and I colored them in red. Okay, the second category, I will classify the shapes according to um, the shapes that has uh, four sides and four vertices and they are the quadrilaterals. I will color them in blue, in yellow. Uh, first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we have any other quadrilaterals among these shapes? No, they are only these ones. So I colored them, uh, them all in yellow. Okay, the third category is five sides. Five sides. What the name of the shapes that has five sides? Let's remember together it's pentagon. Excellent. Where are the vertigons here? The pentagons. Where are the pentagons here? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's hexagon. Here, one, two, three, four, five. This one, okay, color it. Circles for sure, no. Uh, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, this one is also a pentagon, so I color them in green color. Okay, second and uh, next one. Okay, next one is six vertices, and six vertices, vertices means six sides. They are the same. Uh, and six vertices means that I will have the same number of sides. Six sides. Huh? This one, the hexagon. Okay. Blue, and this one also is a hexagon. I will color it in blue. The last category here, no sides, no vertices, and for sure we know that the circle or the oval the shapes that they have no sides and no vertices. So I will color them in purple. Let's move to another one. I have here four shapes. They are all quadrilaterals, excellent, but I named uh, the previous example in quadrilateral, so I want another name for this one. Uh, let's sing together. I will look to the first shape, parallelogram, and as I uh, said before, uh, I have two sides are barrel. Two sides are barrel, this one and this one are barrel, and also the other sides are barrel. Let's see them. Okay, this side and that side are barrel. They will move in the same way and they will never intersect. Okay, what about the other sides? This side and that side are also barrel. They are moving in the same way and they will never intersect. So I have each two opposite sides are barrel or two pairs of barrel sides. I will have the same here. This one is parallel to that one, and this one is parallel to that one. And also in the rectangle, I have the same. This one is parallel to that one, and this one is parallel to that one. And also I will have the same in the square. So I will name this category as two bearers of parallel sides. Okay. Let's see an exercise. A picture on the wall in my classroom has four sides. Has four sides. I have a picture in the classroom and it has four sides and two pairs of parallel sides. What quadrilateral best describes the pictures? Uh, if I have a picture in my classroom or my, in my bedroom and it has four sides and each two opposite sides or two pairs of parallel sides, what, what will be the name of this quadrilateral? Uh, it can be any one of them. It can be parallelogram, rhombus, or rectangle, or the square. It can be any one of them because they all have four sides and they all have two pairs of parallel sides. 
Okay. Use the quadrilateral spell to answer the following question. Let's see what quadrilaterals we have first. We have a rectangle, parallelogram, square, rhombus, trapezoid. Which quadrilaterals appears to have four sides of equal length? Uh, we said that the only 2D uh, shapes that has all sides are equal is what? Uh, square and rhombus, square and rhombus. So where is the square? C. And where is the rhombus? D. So I will write C and D. C and D. Which quadrilaterals appear to have only one pair of parallel sides? Only one pair. I have only one pair. This one and that one. Huh. As can you see here, let's make it together. This side in the trapezoid is parallel to this side. Okay, what about the other sides? What about the other sides? Are they parallel? Let's see. Uh, is this side parallel to that side? How can I know? I will see if they will meet. Okay, if I extend this side like this, and if I extend this side like that, right? They will meet at a point. So they are not parallel. They are not barrel okay so the trapezoid has only two lines or two sides are parallel but the other two they are not barrel so i'm going to say that it has only one pair of barrel sides so i will see it's e shape e the trapezoid okay which quadrilaterals appear to have more than four vertices which one of them has more than four vertices no one they are all quadrilaterals so none of them okay thank you for watching and goodbye